And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. And starting in this one, Michael Waka. He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four. But this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Okay, all set to go. Now, Josh Rojas. That's a strike. And we're underway from San Diego. The next pitch misses. And now it's even one and one. Check swing, no appeal. Nice job to keep the hands back on that one. Out in front just a little bit. Way out front for strike two. Next pitch misses, and it's a full count. Kicks and deals. This one in the air center field. And there's one down. Batting check. The second base. Could tell Marte up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. No score just getting started top of the first. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Absolutely Ball. hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit Ball velocity. Ball. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Marte leads off first with one away. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. In the air out to center. Grisham racing over to make the catch. And now it's Christian Walker. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch, not close. You know, Christian Walker, a guy who had a really successful amateur career, his college ball with the South Carolina Gamecocks, they won the College World Series twice with Walker, and he tied the College World Series record for most career hits with 28. Grisham makes the catch, and that'll do it. The runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Back here at the ballpark, and on the hill, Madison Bumpgarner. Been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. No secret, Mad Bum is a country boy born in Hudson, North Carolina. He loves rodeo competitions and roping events. Here's a good nugget. He's even competed in official events under the name Mason Saunders. Stays alive. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. That's a laser base hit. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. And that one ripped to left. Pulls it in, and there's one away. That is good. Here's Manny Machado. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Out to short. Dives, and he can't hang on. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. First and second, one out. And now, Juan Soto. 
in the air fairly deep to right field puts it away for the out that is good now it's the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Good power, not great in the OBP department. And first offering is fouled off. Bogarts on second. Machado on at first with two down. That's ripped into the outfield. And that ball is out of here. His second of the year, and they tack on three. It's 3-0. Three balls up in the zone, even if they're borderline strikes at this level, typically are hit a long way. Nobody on. Now it's Matt Carpenter. And that one is lifted in the air. Fletcher under this one. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So a three-run shot for the Padres here. It's now 3-0. You're dialed into the show. Top of the second, and now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Corbin Carroll. Strike one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Wow. So important to get into the fielding position after you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. Gabriel Moreno stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. And there's the strike. Umpiring behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. Next offering is downstairs. Yeah, Fillmore, kind of, I don't know, you'd say maybe an umpire's umpire, but really consistent, very fair. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it, and he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Nick Ahmed here to hit. Nick Ahmed. That one's in there, 0-1. No outs, runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, catcher's mind. Oh, he throws it away. But it's offline. And it's now a two-run game. Dominic Fletcher, the next to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Good eye right there. The 1-1. One, one. Hammered on the line. Base hit. Moreno around third. One runs in. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Throw home. He beats it. It's 3-3. Three, three. Love how he let that ball travel and trusted his hand. Thomas now in there and it's 0-1. Fletcher stands at second with no outs. Next pitch off the play and that's ball one. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really. 
really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And the righty deals. Fought off foul. And a ball in two strikes. That's the third. Machado throws oh. the first in time. Out number two. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is the inning. It looked like somebody pulled the parachute on that ball, but good concentration. Stumbled a little bit, but was able to hold on to it as he made contact with the ground. Back here at Petco Park. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's Trent Christian to the plate. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing, his second of the year, and they jump ahead in the second. It's 4-3. Singy, that's his 50th career homer. 50 might not sound like a huge number, but it's a nice little milestone that a lot of guys don't get to. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin buried it out of here. Here's the second baseman, ha Sung Kim. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. On the ground to third. Oh, nice play. Gathers and throws. On the money. Nice play. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. And now it's Austin Nola. And a foul ball. And that one fouled off. Mad bump deals. In the dirt. Fires over to first, and that's an out. So the batting order turns over. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. Scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. And fouled off. Chris, Xander Bogarts has turned into one of the best hitting shortstops in all of baseball. He's made the all-star team four times, five times a silver slugger, and Bogey's won a couple of World Series, too. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you no, still no, have to keep three. your no, hands no. tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Save! Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. He kind of muscled that one out there. Didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it into center field. So two down. Next for the Padres, Manny Machado. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Out to short, Ahmed collects. Whips it across, that ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. The Padres get one in the inning with a solo blast. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Welcome back, all set for the start of the inning. Here's Guriel. 
And he takes a strike. Waka, 31 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2012. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings right. through it. Not a swing you want to watch again. And a pitch. Ground ball, left side. Throws to first. Oh. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Digging no, no, no. in, Christian Walker. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Next offering is down low. 1-0. and oh. Walker handling the duties at first. 32 years. This one in the air right field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Throws to second. And the tying runs at second base with a double. All over that one right there. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Oh, right to the backstop. Kicks and fires. That one to first, and it finds its way through for a hit. The run scores from third. It's 4-4. Four, four. Well, patience and discipline paid off. Bob Melvin. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Stephen Wilson. Now at the plate, Gabriel Moreno. And that's in there for strike one. Moreno goes 5 feet 11 inches, batting 6th in today's lineup. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. The pitch. Good eye right there. Tied up here in the early going. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, lowering away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. And that is strike one. And yeah, that's outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well <laughs> off the plate. Carroll off of first with two away. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even now at four apiece. This is Padres Baseball on the show San Diego. Back here in San Diego. Juan Soto now. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one pulled foul. The 0-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Struck out towards right center. Back there. Turning and looking, and it's gone. Juan Soto goes deep. His fourth home run of the season. And just like that, they're out front. It's 5 4. outing ends that pitch is going to haunt him for a while an 0-2 mistake that's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone he left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with and that's exactly what he did stepping in for San Diego Nelson Cruz first offering misses the mark always exciting to see a laid off home run in an inning kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning That one fouled off. The Giants made Madison Bumgarner the 10th overall pick in the draft out of high school when they took him in 2007. And then there was the development. And, of course, 
He helped them win World Series titles in 2010, 2012, and then that monster performance against the Royals in 2014. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Next is the designated hitter, Matt Carpenter. And first offering is fouled off. Food, you want to talk about tasting success early. Three World Series titles before it even had five full seasons in the big leagues. I mean, they're great players that have played this game a long time and have never gotten to the Fall Classic. Left-hand batter waits. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. I mean, it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is. Tags the runner for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Ha Sung Kim will hit next. Grounded out his first time. Rudder takes off. That's in for a strike. Safe and second with a stolen base. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. The 1. Center field. Fletcher makes the play. Two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity. Now, 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 but Fletcher. competitor oh, like clear. him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Nola. He's 0 for 1. Gets under and pops it up. Marte makes the catch. And that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 5-4 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And the center field. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound. Drew Pomerantz. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different. So we'll see what he's got here. Bounce to the right. Cronenworth picks it up, and he handles it himself for the out. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Alec Thomas. In there for strike one. And that one clips the corner. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit. Got him swinging. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. Pulls it in on the warning track. And the Diamondbacks down. Back here at the ballpark. And here is Xander Bogarts. Mad Bum back to work. Out towards right center field. Thomas makes the grab. One pitch and one out. The first base is number nine. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. That one lifted to left. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Two away now. And now it's Manny Machado. Machado. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, Boog, did you know Manny Machado is the youngest player in history to have a walk-off grand slam in both leagues? I did not know that. The 0-1 oh, is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. This is important. If he can go 1-2-3 here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Two down, nobody on. 
And there's a ball. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. And Manny gets a piece. I'm so glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. That one ripped. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Padres go down quite. Back here at Petco Park. Luis Garcia takes over on the mound. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Pitch misses inside. And that is ball one. Ground ball to the right side. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. No outs. Runner at first. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Runner on the goal. On a line. And it's gone. Lourdes Goriel Jr. goes yard. His second of the year. And the D-backs jump out in front. It's 6-5. gets pitch recognition early he saw exactly where that was going to be the challenge not get over anxious and come out of your swing he stayed on it and got all of it now here is christian walker first pitch and that's in for a strike can be tough to bounce back after big home run but nobody on nobody out you just have to treat it as a fresh inning the pitch and now one and two Next offering way off the plate. Right-hander kicks deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And now it's filled up. Got him looking. One gone here. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up and it's a hitter it's not typically what you're looking for you're trying to protect away and then in so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it'd be called a ball but either way that's a really nice pitch Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in the play, and just hope it finds a hole. The old one. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. And Kenny Jansen punches him out. That's a strikeout. Nick Ahmed stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And that one wrapped foul. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. They down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. D-backs at a pair on the homer. It's tightened up a bit at 6-5 now. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Juan Soto. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. That one missing inside. Ground ball right side. It's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Nelson Cruz, the next up for the Padres. He's already homered in this game. First offering is fouled off. 
Soto gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Two. Now a deep drive by Cruz. Left field. Carroll ranges back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Back to the mound. It hit him. Tosses to first, and there are two outs. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Trent Grisham, the next up for the Padres. And it's fouled away. And now the lefty. And now it's even up. Activity in the bullpen. Cole Sulcer up and loosening in the pen. Nelson, the lefty, warming up as well. 1-1 one, one now. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Coming around third is Soto. He scores to tie it up. 6-6. Six, six. Ahmed with a relay throw, and he's in there as a run scores. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. First offering misses badly for ball one. In the air, out towards left center, grabs it on the run. And that will end the inning. Run scoring triple here for the Pods. And we're all even now at six apiece. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Stepping in, Dominic Fletcher. Garcia, in his eighth season, 36 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Left-hand hitter waits. Just missed. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. One ball, two strikes. One and two here. Got him. And now one away. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Next offering is fouled back. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Here's Josh Rojas. In there and it's 0-1. Swing and a pop-up. Bogarts settles underneath it. Brings it in for the third out. Three up, three down that time. On the mound now, Kyle Nelson. This is his third time out this year. Leading off, Austin Nola. Number 24. The wind and the pitch. This one high in the air to left center. And no one can get there. Around first, heading for two. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. 
Waste no time there. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. It's Xander Bogarts now for the fourth time tonight. Foul ball. Smash to the left side. Can't glove it cleanly. No throw, and that leaves them with runners at first and second. An uncharacteristic mistake from a really good defensive player. Popped in the air. Left field. Carroll pulls that one down, and that is a big first out. Here's Manny Machado now. One for three. Machado. Base hit into right center. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now it's Juan Soto. Broken bat, and it's popped up. They get the out on Soto. Two down. No, that's a frustrating at bat right there. Big opportunity and just missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy, I'll have to pick him up. And first offering is fouled off. Drifts inside. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Cole Sulcer preparing to come on if needed. Castro warming up as well. And a count one and two. Out towards left center field, way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Pods leave him loaded. And welcome. Nabil Prismat will take over here. The pitch. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. That's a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that's the first out. So next is the designated hitter for the D-backs, Lourdes Goriel Jr. That one's in there on one. Late with the swing there. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to. And down on strikes goes Guriel. That's the second out. Christian Walker getting ready to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that's in there for strike one. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Next offering is fouled back. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Throw over to Cronenworth, and that'll do it. Nothing.
Andrew Chafin enters the game. So now here's the DH. Matt Carpenter. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. And here it comes. Bounced up the middle. Into the outfield. Base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. No outs. Runner at first. Next for the Padres, Trent Grisham. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner holds. The pitch. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Now second base. Stepping in for San Diego, Hassan Kim. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Fletcher under it. Makes the catch for the out. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Austin Nola. Next offering misses. One and one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire to give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Slings it across. That's the third out. Padres leave one. This game remains tied. It's back here in San Diego. Tim Hill comes on now. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And the lefty with the 0-1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. 0-2 now. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Line, and that's a base hit. Go ahead, run on base. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. First pitch, just misses. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And now two balls and a strike. Fouled off. He was late with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Out towards left center. Soto gets under it. Brings it in. And there's one down. Nick Ahmed stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And he swings and misses oh at the initial offering. Next pitch is popped up. Cronenworth makes the play. And there's two away. Now a move being made for a pitch hitter. Evan Longoria. Big spot for him here. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's towards center. Grisham settles under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Cole Sulcer. So coming into the game now on defense, Kyle Lewis. He'll be patrolling center field. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. And that one fouled off. Here's the 0-2. That one, one missed. Ball, 
Line drive. And a base hit right there. So a man on base to start the inning. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. In the air right field. Makes the catch one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Manny Machado up the to the plate. Outfield the deep game. here, trying to prevent Manny. anything over their heads. Machado. A laser to left base hit. And that one's going to get into the corner. Go ahead run holds up at third as the ball comes back in. Second and third after the double. Here's Juan Soto. Known for his late inning heroics. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat, but this team does not want to let him beat him. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. In the air, right field. Thomas gets under it. Drops into the glove. Both runners tagging from second and third. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across, and it's a 7-6 game. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation, and if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. Let's see if you can get this next out. Carpenter in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And the 1 0. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Carroll moving under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Through eight full, it's the Padres. So Josh Hader gets the call to the mound. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. D-backs making a move for a pinch hitter. Jake McCarthy. He comes to the plate in a huge spot in this one. Kicks and deals. And strike two. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And a swing and a miss. And one out now. Now the third baseman, Josh Rojas. And a foul ball. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the night. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, left field. Soto going after him. And there's two away. Cattell Marte stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Hader, an all-star a season ago. He features a two-seam fastball, a slide. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres extend their winning streak to five in a row. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps push it up to double digits. One run game here today. Your final score, 7-6. to six. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.
final run here for our ball.